Wow, what a morning. Pretty chunky swell too. And not a breath of wind. Perfect. Yeah, so I wrangled up a, a bunch of beach worms yesterday. See, it's pretty shallow out here at the moment and it's probably best suited for whiting and brim, I'd say. So I'm going to have the crack at some whiting this morning. I've got some beach worms and I've got my Bellissimo paternoster rig, got my alvey. Raring to go. Looks like a half reasonable fish, this one. Whoa! Good whiting. wipe the sand off this one, eh? Got a 33 centimetre whiting, beautiful. There you go, first whiting. Hope there's some monster whiting here today. Here we go. That's a whiting. Oi! It's a smallish fish, but it's still legal. Like a 30 centimetre job. Maybe a bit bigger. Wow, they're a pretty fish. Okay, that goes in the bucket. Anyway, the tide's still coming in by a long shot. Still another four hours of running tide. So I'm only fishing about the second hour of the running tide, and which is basically just after low. Tide's still very low and there's fish available. If there's enough water in the hole, in the gutter, you'll get whiting even at low tide. Yeah, so whiting are pretty seasonal. They're generally between November and about June. way in as I was winding in. So watch my hands, I'm winding in this fast bang of way. <laughs> How hilarious is that? And it's a legal fish. Those oh, sets out there, wow. I'm gonna be up to two meters. Some of those sets. Big swell. Whiting. I say this is a good solid fish. Whoa, yes. This smaller than I thought, but it's still a good fish.
mid thirties. Woo! Beautiful fish. Look at that. Very well conditioned fish too. You can see how broad they are. Awesome. Well, not a big run of whiting, only up to about 33 centimetres. 33, maybe 34 centimetres. They're, they're reasonable whiting. Oh, here we go. Another bite. Oh, you bastard. Shouldn't have struck on that one. Just missed a good whiting bite then. Got to make sure you don't strike too early on them. You know, you can set your rod in a rod holder, but like, think about it. If you set your rod in a rod holder with a very, very strong drift, it means you need a very heavy sinker to be able to set your rod in a rod holder. So you're not covering enough territory as well. So you've got to take the good with the bad. It's good to have a rod set, it's more relaxing. Massive sinker, it doesn't move around too much, otherwise it gets washed up on the shore. Or you use a lighter sinker and you walk along the gutter and you get more fish and you cover more territory. And besides that, it's more fun pulling in a whiting using the lighter gear and the lighter sinker and so forth. I mean, and it's also about being practical as well. There's no point in using a super light sinker if there's far, far too much current. Here we go. Might have seen that, picked it up and dropped it. Oh! Woo! They're getting bigger. Woo, they're getting bigger. <laughs> How good's that? That'll be a 35 -er. Good fish. Might just have a quick measure on that one. I reckon about, yeah, probably about 35, There you go, bang on 35, 35 and a half. Sweet. Okay, so the biggest one for the outing so far. Here we go. Whoa. Geez, they're solid fish. Beautiful. Another good, good whiting. Well, there you go, another whiting. About a 32 centimetre fish. Well, here we go. Ooh, very timid bite. Am I on? Nope, I'm not on. 
I am on. So I'm all the way back in. Now the reason why I thought that I lost that fish is because it was body surfing. Like, you know, when you're body surfing the wave, you're using the momentum of the wave to swim forward with the wave. This whiting was actually swimming forward towards me and then caught the wave as well. And therefore, I actually thought I lost it temporarily. So when you think that you've lost a whiting or a fish in a surf, speed up and you'll find your rod tip starts to bend back over again. Oh, I haven't lost it. Get into it. Especially right on the shore break. And if they're only hooked into the lip, that's where a lot of fish are lost. The line goes loose, head shake, and you know what the rest is. Anyway, another nice, not, not, another nice whiting. That fish was actually swimming in towards me. So I choose to dispatch my fish. If I'm going to keep them, I dispatch them. They're hooked down deep. Well, you're best off keeping them if they're big enough, that is. Number ones and number twos I'm using at the moment. And they're all, nearly all of them are gut hooking. Why would you go to a number six? Number four, you know, so. Anyway, another nice whiting. Beautiful. I think I hooked that fish only about, so, from the bottom of that suck back there, probably only about five metres out, seven metres out. Looks like they've gone off the bite. Gonna have to go and search for them again. Solid fish. Well, maybe not so solid. <laughs> is that legal? Probably is legal. Just release it or? See this here? It's 27, nearly 28 centimetres, but I'm going to release this anyway. Okay, let's go for a wander. Okay, try another spot. Quite often when you're beach fishing for whiting, the immediate area that you're catching fish goes off the bite. It might flood too much as well. Flood, flooding, flooding too much means it's actually getting too deep for the whiting. So you need to move. Wow, so it's been probably about half an hour at least or more that since I've got the last fish. Oh, well, I've got seven whiting. If I uh, don't get a fish in the next, say, next half an hour, I might call it quits. Oh, yes. Oh, it's a solid fish. Oh, yeah, it's a good solid fish. Or have I got two on? No, just a big solid fish. Lovely. Got a slab of whiting. Look at 
Look at that. Look at that scar on it. Looks like it's been uh, hit by a shark or something. I reckon that'll probably go, uh, probably the largest fish of the day so far. Yeah, check it out. Ah, uh, no, same size, 35 and a half. Just more solid again. Woo! Awesome. Okay, so I broke the drought. Here we go. Ooh, good bite. Oh, 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 what's this? I don't think it's a whiting. I think it's a salmon. <laughs> Surely it can't be a whiting. Pretty certain it's a salmon. Woo! Take a bit of line on the alvey. Yeah, I just caught that tail beat. I'm pretty certain it's a salmon. Whoa, whoa! Woo! I just seen it in the surf then. There it is, it's starting to come up here now. You can just see it in the shallows now. Whoa! <laughs> Chunky. Look at that. Yeah, a bit of beach worm wafts in front of its face. Bang, it will hit it. Yeah, so Australian salmon. Don't be confused with a pink salmon or red salmon. They're not a pink or red, they're just an Australian salmon. Okay, so I'm going to release this. A lot of fun. Here we go. I think that might be a whiting bite. What did you uh, want to let go? Uh, salmon. Okay. Aussie salmon. Just eight pound line. Yeah. Yeah, got a few whiting. So there you go, just a dart. Very prolific dart. In Sydney, occasionally you'll get them up to about 35 centimetres. Very pretty fish. Yeah, so. Yeah, so struggling to find the whiting again. Here we go. See how I pulled back then? That was a sand crab. Look at that lull. It's a big period between the sets and the lulls. Here we go. Undersized whiting. I won't even bother measuring that one.
Current's really starting to slow down now. I've got a feeling they're there, they're just going off the bite. Just periodically, every, every few casts I'm getting some bounces. There's probably whitey swimming around my bait. And they just won't bite. The sun's up pretty high. Well, that's it, it's my last cast. I'm done. There's a stage there, I thought I was gonna get more than a dozen, but they, seem, they just seem to go off the bite. So no real massive whiting, but quite good, good quality fish. Let's go and check out the bag. So there you go, nine whiting. I thought I had eight. You had to work pretty hard for the last couple. Pretty stoked about it. Sydney Beach as well. You know, so Sydney beaches get flogged. There's plenty of beaches on the northern beaches of Sydney, but they get flogged, you know, so. And what you need to do is that you need to find where they are. So if they're not on one beach, you can go to another. Anyway, bag of fish, happy days. Please like, share and subscribe, and I'll have more videos coming soon.